Photosynthesis is the synthesis of glucose from carbon dioxide and water, in the presence of sunlight with oxygen as a byproduct. It is the most important biochemical pathway and nearly all life depend on it. A simple general equation for photosynthesis is as follows. Carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight to form sugar, water and oxygen as byproduct. During the process of photosynthesis, raw materials are carbon dioxide enters through the stomata, water is absorbed by the root hairs from the soil and is carried to the leaves through the xylem vessels. Chlorophyll absorbs the light energy from the sun. Water Water present in soil is absorbed by roots and root hairs through osmosis. This water is eventually transported to leaves through xylem vessels. Carbon dioxide. Air that enters through tiny porous stomata are found on the surface of leaves in most plants. And they let carbon dioxide diffuse into the mesophyll layer and oxygen diffuse out. Structurally, a leaf comprises a petiole, epidermis, and a lamina. The lamina is used for absorption of sunlight and carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. Outermost layer of the leaf contains cuticle which protects the leaf from excessive water loss and from breaking due to the force of the wind. Below it, there is a layer called epidermis, which contains chlorophyll-containing cells and pores for exchange of gases and water. Beneath the epidermis lies the layer of mesophyll cells which are compactly arranged. Mesophyll layer of cells contain two types of cells which are palisade mesophyll cells and spongy mesophyll cells. Lower epidermis is present below the mesophyll, which contains vascular bundles, and stomata. The pore-like openings are the stomata, which are surrounded by the guard cells, which regulate the opening of the stomata. Guard cells open the stomata when they are turgid and close the stomata when they are flaccid. Through stomata, carbon dioxide reaches into the air spaces present around mesophyll cells. This air carries carbon dioxide, which gets absorbed in the thin layer of water surrounding mesophyll cells. From here the carbon dioxide diffuses into mesophyll cells. Each mesophyll cell contains organelles called chloroplasts, which are specialized to carry out the reactions of photosynthesis. Within each chloroplast, disc-like structures called thylakoids are arranged in piles like stacks of pancakes that are known as grana. The membrane of each thylakoid contains green-colored pigments called chlorophylls that absorb light. The fluid-filled space around the grana is called the stroma. And the space inside the thylakoid discs is known as the thylakoid space. Different chemical reactions occur in the different parts of the chloroplast. Mechanism of photosynthesis Photosynthesis occurs in two phases. Light reaction. Dark reaction. Mechanism of light reaction. The light-dependent reaction takes place in the thylakoid membranes of chloroplasts. The grana membrane-bound sacs-like structures present inside the thylakoid functions by gathering light and is called photosystems. These photosystems have large complexes of pigment and proteins molecules present within the plant cells, which play the primary role during the process of light reactions of photosynthesis. There are two types of photosystems. Photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. When light strikes to chlorophyll, it energizes electrons within that molecule. Dot these electrons jump up to higher energy levels. The high energy electrons are excited. Excited electrons leave chlorophyll to participate in further reactions, leaving the chlorophyll at a loss. Eventually they must be replaced. That replacement process also requires light working with an enzyme complex to split water molecules into hydrogen ions, electrons, and oxygen atom. This process is known as photolysis, which means splitting by light. The electrons replace those originally lost from chlorophyll. The oxygen atoms, however, form oxygen gas, which is a waste product of photosynthesis releases in atmosphere. Excited electrons that have absorbed light energy are unstable. First, they pass down an electron transport chain, which captures their energy and uses it to pump hydrogen ions by active transport into the thylakoids. These concentrated ions store potential energy by forming a chemiosmotic or electrochemical gradient, 
a higher concentration of both positive charge and hydrogen inside the thylakoid than outside. The gradient formed by the hydrogen ions is known as a chemiosmotic gradient. As they flow, the ion channel enzyme ATP synthesis uses their energy to chemically bond a phosphate group to ADP making ATP. Light re-energizes the electrons, and they travel down a second electron transport chain, eventually bonding hydrogen ions to NADP to form a more stable energy storage molecule, NADPH. During the light reactions, ATP and NADPH are generated by two electron transport chains, water is used, and oxygen is produced. The chemical equation in the light reaction of photosynthesis can be reduced to 2 molecule of water, 2 molecule of NADP, 3 molecule of ADP and 3 phosphate atom to produce oxygen molecule and 2 molecule of NADPH and 3 molecule of ATP. The light reaction produced ATP which is its energy source, and NADPH for reducing ability, move toward the chloroplast stroma, the region between the thylakoid membrane and the organelle's inner membrane, just after completing the light reaction of photosynthesis. Mechanism of dark reaction It starts when carbon in the form of carbon dioxide enters through minute pores in the leaves called stomata, where they diffuse into the stroma of the chloroplast. Carbon dioxide combine with a 5-carbon molecule ribulus 1,5-bisphosphate to form an unstable 6-carbon intermediate that breaks down to form two molecules of 3-phosphoglycerate. This step is catalyzed by the enzyme are known as Rubisco. Using the energy from ATP, the 3-carbon compound, 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate molecule are produced. 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate are converted into a 3-carbon sugar glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, with the help of enzyme glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, in which NADPH from light reaction acts as the electron donor. Some glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is utilized in making glucose, while others are recycled to continue the cycle, by combining with a carbon acceptor, that turns into ribulus 1,5-bisphosphate. The energy required to regenerate glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is derived from ATP. Reactants taking part in the Calvin cycle are carbon dioxide, NADPH, water and ATP. Its products are sugar molecule glucose, NADP, ADP and phosphate molecule. The chemical equation for the dark reaction can be reduced to 3 molecule of carbon dioxide, 6 molecules of NADPH, 5 molecules of water, and 9 ATP molecules to forms into glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate 2 hydrogen ions, 6 NADP ions, 9 ADP molecules, and 8 phosphate ions. Importance of photosynthesis Photosynthesis is essential for the existence of all life on Earth. It serves a crucial role in the food chain. The plants create their food using this process, thereby forming the primary producers. Photosynthesis is also responsible for the production of oxygen, which is needed by most organisms for their survival. 